Good time of day, everyone. Today we'll talk about a famous character. Many people have heard about it since childhood. She is an old woman who lives on the edge of the forest in a hut on chicken legs. Inside hut stood a large cauldron in which she brewed her potions from various magical ingredients that helped her possess supernatural abilities. Typically, these ingredients included snake venom, poisonous plants, mushrooms, herbs, and even geese wings. The latter were added to acquire the ability to fly. She flies in a mortar and sweeps away her tracks with a broom. Most often, she is depicted as a grumpy and scary old witch with a hunchback and a bony leg who knows important secrets, possesses magical items like a ball of thread that points the way, and is endowed with supernatural power. She enjoys feasting on humans, little children, and good young men. But her character is not so straightforward because in many fairy tales, she actually helps a kind-hearted hero by giving them something magical or showing them the way to it. She is called by different names. But we know her as Baba Yaga. That's precisely who my story is about today. As I mentioned before, Yaga is a rather contradictory character. Who is Baba Yaga? Why is she called that, and how did she find her way into Russian fairy tales? Researchers cannot agree on this question. Let's consider a few versions together. According to one of them, Baba Yaga is a guide to the afterlife, the world of ancestors. She actually lives on the border between the worlds of the living and the dead, somewhere in the 33rd kingdom. There is a version that she is the daughter of Vai and the wife of Velas. According to this version, she was not an old woman at all but a young and beautiful witch who could travel between the world of the living and the world of the dead. Moreover, she understood the language of all creatures of darkness, which means she could easily make deals with them. On top of that, she was a mighty warrior, capable of facing numerous adversaries. Only the one who defeated her in a fair fight could marry the beauty. Many tried to defeat Yaga, but only Velas succeeded. So how did the beautiful witch turn into a terrifying and hunchbacked old woman? Some explain it as a curse imposed on her by the forces of light for some wrongdoing. Since then, Yaga feeds on the souls of the deceased, bringing death a nightmare in an attempt to regain her former beauty. That's one version of the origin of Baba Yaga. But let's move on to the next version right away. According to it, Baba Yaga, once again, is a guide to the world of the dead. And that famous hut on chicken legs is a peculiar passage to the world of the dead. That's why you cannot enter it if it is facing the forest with its back. Baba Yaga is a creature that exists between the world of the living and the world of the dead. In fact, she is a resurrected dead person. Why, you may ask. Well, there is a version that the hut on chicken legs is smoke-cured, and Slavic people had so-called houses of death. These houses contained the remains of the deceased, and the pillars on which these houses stood were smoked. Also, the Slavic people had a custom of burying the dead in the so-called Domovinas. These were little houses placed on high stumps that indeed resembled chicken legs. Yes, and Baba Yaga herself is unkempt, and only deceased women had their braids untangled. That's why children were frightened by Baba Yaga, just as they were frightened by the dead. Yes, and her bony leg refers to the dead because their damavinas were kept with legs pointing towards the exit. But, on the other hand, people treated the dead, as well as Baba Yaga, not so much with fear as with respect, often asking them for help. That's why Baba Yaga helps Ivan Tsarevich defeat Kashyai the Immortal or Dragon. According to another version, the image of Baba Yaga is closely connected to sorceresses and healers who cured people. This version associates Yaga's connection with the word Yaza, which previously meant weakness, illness. But later, it fell out of use. There were beliefs that Baba Yaga could live in any village, disguising herself as an ordinary woman, taking care of livestock, cooking, and raising children. So, where did the notion that Baba Yaga loves to roast children on a shovel come from? 
The thing is, in ancient times, there was a ritual called baking. It was used to try to cure rickets. The child was wrapped in dough, then placed on a wooden bread shovel and inserted three times into a hot oven. Then the child was unwrapped, and the dough was given to the dogs. It is said that this helped. However, in fairy tales, this ritual took on a negative connotation, Baba Yaga was planning to eat the child. Most likely, this is related to the arrival of Christianity in Rus, a time when all old, that is, pagan rituals, were being destroyed. There are so many versions regarding the origin of the word Yaga. Some derive it from the word Yagat, to shout, putting all one's strength into the shout. Midwives and sorceresses taught the birthing woman to Yagat. Dot. Additionally, Yagat also meant to shout in the sense of scolding, quarreling. The word Yaga is also related to the word Yugaya, which has two meanings, angry and sick. By the way, in some Slavic languages, Yugaya means a person with a sick leg. There are other theories as well. According to one, Yaga is a powerful goddess. According to another, she actually came to us from India or Africa. In English-speaking countries, there are some characters and folk figures that can be analogues of Baba Yaga. The Black Widow is a character from American folklore who is often associated with a femme fatale or an evil widow. She uses her sexuality to deceive and kill men. This character shares some similarities with Baba Yaga, such as a menacing appearance and the ability to manipulate others. In some English and Celtic mythologies, there is a character known as the Storm Witch. She controls the weather and can summon storms and tempests. This character has some parallels with Baba Yaga in her ability to manipulate natural forces and serve as a bridge between the human world and the spirit world. The Boogeyman is a character known in English and American folklore, used to frighten children. It represents a mythical creature or monster that appears to punish disobedient children. Although the Boogeyman and Baba Yaga have some differences, they both serve as symbols of fear and intimidation for children. In conclusion, it can be said that Baba Yaga is a multifaceted character, and over time she has migrated into original stories, animated films, theatrical productions, while still remaining a part of Russian folklore even in the metropolises, where the penetration of folk culture is almost imperceptible. And that's all. If you enjoyed the story about Baba Yaga, check out others in the playlist. Rate the video and leave comments, it's an indicator of my work and a source of motivation. Subscribe to the channel, so you won't miss new videos. Thank you for your attention, and see you in the new videos.